Hello friend, in today's session we will learn how we can design and develop a protein simulation of accident detection system by using Arduino Nano. So you can see on the screen we have vibration sensor, then we have the switch, then we have the LCD, then GSM model, then GPS model and DC motor. So before start this project, I would like to tell you this project video will be divided into two parts. In the first part, this, that is this part, we will see how to run this project in your laptop. In the next part, we will see the program explanation and how we can design and develop this hardware simulation in the Prote software. So if you want the ready-made solution from me, then this video is very important. And in the next video, if you want to learn how to I, how I created this project in the Prote software, then next part is very important. So next part will be uploaded in the next week. But in current video, you will learn how we can how we can run this project in your laptop. Okay, before start the project explanation, I would like to tell you what is the project flow. As you can see on the hard as you can see on the screen, we have the Arduino Nano, we have the vibration sensor, then GSM, GPS, DC motor, and switch model. So basically, vibration sensor is used to detect the accident is happen or not. So once the accident is happen, then vibration sensor send the data to the Arduino Nano that is accident happen. And at the same time, there will be the 10 second delay. So in the 10 second delay, if the user manually change this switch position to the on, that means user is okay, driver is okay, no need to send the current location and the GSM uh, current location through the GSM model to the particular parent number. So let's say after the accident is detected and user not able to press this switch within the 3 second or within the 5 second, whatever second you want to design, I will show you how to remove, how to modify that second. So whatever second you want to decide, within that second if the user does not press that switch then automatically the current location of the user sent through the GSM model on the user mobile number. So this is the complete flow of this project. Now we will see the practical demonstration of this project so that you will see what so you will get idea what you will learn at the end of this two video. Now we will see the practical demonstration of this project. Now if you want to run this project then click on this run button. So once you click on this run button, you can see accident detection system message present on the screen. Then after that, this is the black window. This black window is nothing but your GSM model output that is GSM and GPS model output. So whatever the GSM message and GPS location that will be present on this black terminal window. Now you can see vehicle started. So this DC motor start rotating. Now the first part we will do, we will do the accident detected by placing this vibration sensor input to one. Then after that, the input from this switch is open. That means driver is not okay. So in that case, the message will be sent uh, through the GSM location, uh, GSM model, and capture the current location of the user by the GSM model. Now I will press this switch of the vibration sensor. Now you can see action detected. Wait for the switch input. Now this is waiting for the switch input. Now there will be the three second time delay in which user should press that switch so let's say timer start three second done so sending message now user hasn't haven't now user did not press the switch that means uh, message should be sent so you can see sending the message so it is command send on this terminal window action detected please check the location so this is the one idea behind this project now we will see the next part so in the next part uh, again i will run the project I will give the one input to this wireless sensor and then in the next part we will give one input to, uh, to this switch. So once we press the switch that means driver is ok and in that case message should not send on the user mobile number. So I will again run this project. So same model will be happen again. Action detection system. Vehicle started. So I am giving one signal to here. So it will give the accident detected. Accident detected, wait for the switch input. Now I will give the switch input to the one. Timer start from the one, two, three. Driver OK, stop message. So message is not sending through this GSM model because we have given the one signal here. So this is, so this is the complete idea behind this project. I hope you understand the project flow. Now we will see how to run this project in your laptop. I request you please subscribe my channel currently you can see I have uploaded more video on the mini video on Raspberry Pi Arduino then Python program then some 
uh, webinar so that uh, it can grow your career so if you want to learn something from me it is free and you have to just click on this subscribe button and all the video it is it is very unique and you will learn definitely many things from me i upload a mostly video on raspberry pi mostly video on iot then arduino there are different types of project i have explained and each project having the programming part so please subscribe my channel please support me and please enhance your knowledge by watching my video now we will see how to run this project in your laptop so first point you require the protis 8.9 software in your laptop if you uh, if you uh, need my ready-made solution then you need protis 8.9 software in your laptop then you require the arduino uh, software in your laptop so how to install this arduino software in your laptop i have already explained in my this video protis simulation accident detection and alcohol detection system project by using arduino you know so in this video i have explained how to install the gsm library how to install the gps library and how to install the vibrate sensor library also i have explained how to install the arduino software in your laptop so it is very important to watch this video completely and try to at least simulate this project at your end first so once you do the simulation this project at your end first now uh, you have to download now once you've done the, once you've done this project at your end then next part is you have to download my this project accident detection using arduino system accident detection arduino nano Proteus project folder from my Google Drive link. The Google Drive link given in the description. So once you download the folder, uh, you can see you will find all these files. Then after that, what you have to do? Just go to the first. Then after that, first you have to install the Arduino Nano library in your laptop. So how to install that library? Just go to inside this folder, select all the files, Arduino Nano library file, copy this. Then after that, go to the C drive. C drive, then program 86, then labs and electronics, then after the protein 8, then data, then library, and here whatever the library, whatever the file you have copy, you have to paste that file. So in that way, Arduino Nano library get installed in your laptop. Then after that, you have to open this Arduino software. Double click on this Arduino software. So once you double click on this Arduino software, go to the file, click on open once you go to click on open again go to my downloaded folder so this one nano proteus and open this file car accident arduino nano go to inside this one then here you will find the iono file click on open so once you click on open program will be open now here you can see you require the tiny gps library also this external library so how to install this library that also explain in my this video so this video is very important to watch completely to run this project then after that just click on this run button so once you done compile you can see done compilation is happen now open the proteus 9 software proteus 8.9 right click run as administrator click on yes button so once you click on yes button just go to the open project and then after that again go to my downloaded folder arduino nano proteus and here you can find the protest car accident detection arduino software protest file just click on this click on open so once you click on open the first part you have to do you have to load the hex file of this vibrate sensor so double click on this vibrate sensor click on this uh, folder then go to downloaded folder again arduino lab nano protest here you can find the vibrate sensor library double click here go to library to select this hex file click on ok then after that you have to load the gps hex file so double click here again go to the folder gps library this hex file click on open click on ok then again gsm library double click here go to the folder go to here then gsm library you will find here gsm library click on ok click on x and click on ok then after that you can you you know we already click on this verify button I, I again click on this verify button so once the verify done you will find the hex file path so you can see this is my hex file path of this project so i will copy this hex file path it will find at the end of your black window so you can file this is the hex file path copy this go to your proteus double click on this arduino nano click on this folder paste that path here then remove that path one by one one slash 
you have to remove that one backslash so one remove one remove you click on enter then select this hex file you can see select this hex file click on open and click on ok then click on run button so once you click on run button project start working perfectly so in this way you can uh, open project and start uh, you can run this project on your laptop i again repeat it is very important to watch this complete video in this video i have explained how to install the vibration sensor library how to install the infrared how to install the gps how to install the uh, sim 900 library then how to uh, install this tiny gps uh, library in your laptop and then and then only come to this video nano video and then follow these steps okay so today i will get very less time so that i will i will not cover the programming part and hardware connection part in this video but in the next week we will definitely look how to run the uh, how what is the importance of each and every line behind this audio nano code and how to do this all the hardware one by one in the software so next video will be uploaded soon